This month we're tying the Allen Brothers Cutwing Caddis, which is an awesome pattern um, designed to take tough fish when a lot of the heckled patterns quit working. The uh, secret to the pattern is the silhouette, of course, having the cut wing that is visible from the trout as they look up um, gives a perfect silhouette to a caddis's wings as it floats along the surface preparing to take off and uh, just fools very selective fish. Um, of course, you can adjust the fly wing material color and the body color of the caddis to imitate caddis in your area like the Mother's Day caddis or um, any caddis, you know, just a plain olive caddis, anything. Um, but the uh, effectiveness of the pattern is it floats really well, it has the silhouette, it's easy to tie, and um, easy to see as well. A lot of people are surprised when they fish this pattern how easy it is to see. Um, become very confident in this pattern when I fish the Muskegon, which has very tough fish selective on um, emerging caddis and adults as well. Tie up a bunch of these for your river uh, in your area, and uh, I know they'll catch some fish for you. Enjoy. All right, the first step, we're going to go ahead and put the thread on, take it back to the, uh, just shy of the bend of the hook, clip off the tag, Gonna dub a body here. Um, the caddis, a caddis's body is a little fatter in the uh, rear end and then tapers a little bit. It's not a real drastic taper, but something to keep in mind while you're dubbing the body is just um, kind of start with a, a little bit of more body in the back. This and then um, you can even hit it a couple times. Doesn't need to be real big because they don't have a real big body. Most caddis add a little more dubbing. All right, I'm just gonna kind of fill that in just a little bit. There we go, and then let her taper down there. Was there's a good caddis body, just a little fatter in the back here thinner as you go towards the front. Just a finer point, but that's the natural shape of a uh, caddis's um, abdomen. All right, next step is we're going to cut off a piece of the fly film. And it should be about half the full, there's uh, pieces that each piece should be cut in half that I give you in the pack. And uh, take half of that, which is this, we're going to fold it just lengthwise. Or Fold it in half lengthwise. Give it a little crease, and so now it's in half there. And we're going to make a series of cuts here. We're going to make three cuts. First one is get this right. The fold is on my fold is right here in my thumb, right there. We're going to make a cut. Just get that rearranged from the fold. Long. This is our long bottom edge of the caddis wing. I'm just going to take that all the way out, just one long cut there. You can see that. There's the folded edge right on this side, and the long cut's right on this. I just cut right along that. Then you can keep it in the same position. And then we're going to make a second cut, which is this the, uh, kind of the opposite angle, but still a shallow angle, but kind of opposite. It's a little funny to cut this sometimes, so there's our second cut. You can see that. And then we're going to spin it. This, this one we do have to turn around so the fold is going to be on the right side of the wing. So the fold's right there. And we're just going to take and clip back the other way, kind of the opposite of that last cut. One last thing you can do to make it a little, just look a little nicer is just kind of trim off that little sharp edge. And that's what our cast wing should look like. I'm going to take that, turn it around in the right position. And I'm going to lay that folded edge on the top of the fly. Just capture just a little bit of that fly film in with your thread. It's real nice. And then you want to come back, make sure you get a good bit of it. And then that wing will uh, spread apart. You can kind of see what that wing looks like. The thing that always strikes me about this fly is it is super short to tie, but the when it's finished, it has such a great realistic impression of the um, fly. But it's simple. It floats better than even a lot of the over-hackled patterns that you see, like even the Elk Air Cat is the standard, the original. Um, this thing will float better than you think. So next we're going to cut off a little bunch of Elk Air that was provided. Go ahead and clean out the uh, guard hairs there. And um, we don't have a lot there. I'll have it 
that's blade kind of to show you how much we're talking. I mean, it's a pretty small amount. Um, we don't need to over overdo this pattern with the elk here. And then we're going to put it in a stacker. Taps, pull it out. Tips are nice, nice and even there. Pull those out. Some time to inspect to kind of look at those tips and see if there's any that are, you know, if there's any blunt ones, I'd just pull them out of there. But these all look like they're nice natural stack tips. I'm going to lay that out here right on top and extend it past the uh, wing just a bit because it's going to flare on you and shorten up. I'm going to make one, two wraps. And then after, on that third one, you can just start to bear down and give it a nice just straight down. We're pushing, pulling straight down towards the table. And then we'll be going around one more time. And we're going to do what's called, um, well, it's really not called anything, but it helps the durability and these elk hair, um, for the elk hair to stay in, is we're going to pull back a clump, make a wrap, pull back another clump, make a wrap, pull back another clump, make a wrap, and then pull back another clump. It doesn't have to be a specific number, but what that does, if, if you look at a standard elk hair, you'll notice the thread is just kind of in right behind where the elk hair is tied in is where all the wraps are. And it's a real um, uh, fatal or um, a spot on the fly that that can be damaged, and then the whole wing falls off real easily. Whereas if it's locked down, it's um, a little more secure. And um, you can also trim this with a bigger head on it. Like um, I'll probably do this for the video here. Trim it with a little bit more, and that gives us a little more flotation, a little more visibility. But you can clip that down real flush, and even put hackle on this fly. Um, there if you like that style kind of the henryville caddis style and then we're going to go ahead and finish it off with a whip finish and clip and the fly is finished and you'll be super really amazed how well this fly floats the visibility is pretty amazing but it doesn't have any of the hackle like a standard elk hair caddis to get in the way of the silhouette for the f fish. And it rides low in the film, so it's a good... You can use this as a spent caddis um, or a newly emerged, but the silhouette is ideal. So enjoy!